Boy, do you need my help? No, I wanted you to go ahead. You don't need to push it. Just do it like that. Oh, I see. Okay, put it to high. Oh, no, D. Put it to high. Hello to all our family, friends, and subscribers. This video shows our trip from Astoria, Oregon to Tillamook, Oregon through Portland. After crossing the bridge into Astoria, we headed east towards Longview, Washington. We stopped in a small town called Klatskenai to buy some huckleberries. Hello everyone! We turned around because we will buy huckleberry. Because Barb said if we see huckleberries, we need to buy one. We never tried that one before, yes daddy? Uh, never did. Yes, so we turned around and because I saw a huckleberry sign right there for sale, so we will buy some. Then we hike to a local waterfall called Beaver Falls. We are going to the Charmos. Take care of it. We got pockets. They said it's a bit steep. It's the jungle. It's the jungle. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy, do you need my help? No, I wanted you to go ahead. Do you want to continue? Okay. Be careful. Careful, Ma. Careful, Daddy. Give me a second. proceeded to Longview, Washington, crossing the Columbia River once again. Our plan was to visit Portland, then head back towards the coast. Hello everyone! We are on the road again and it's a rainy day. First thing that we need to do is we need to dump our dump our yep. camp pet, yep. our <laughs> right. 
dump Double our tank. tanks and then buy propane and then we will go to Portland. Yes, Daddy? Yep. And we will gas up there because the the gasoline there or the fuel there is way um cheaper than the fuel here. Dollar a gallon. A dollar a gallon, yes. You already hear the Pacific um pride where we will dump our tanks. Yes, he's ready. Bucket. How much water? I mean, how much black is great? What's there? Quite a bit. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are done dumping our our tanks, but they do not have water. Well, we use some of our fresh water to clean the hose. That's about all we can do right now until we find another source of water so I can fill up my tank. Yes, like drinking, like potable water. Yes. Potable water. Yes. Yes, and you have okay. Now we will go to the. Um, Western world to get propane. Right. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. And we're here. I might need your help to relight the fridge in case it went off. Yeah. Propane checked. My husband checked. Oh yes. Just hold this stuff for me, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Whoops, we will refill our water and then we will hit the road again. Yes, Daddy? Yep. Good job. Hello, Guapo. We approached Portland from the Washington side, passing through Vancouver. Passed through downtown Portland and 
boondocked in a suburb called Hillsboro. Hello everyone. I just bought a uh, Mr. Heater Buddy. This is the single type 9000 BTU and we're going to give it a try now. See how it works. Now tell me why you bought it. Because I'm tired of being cold in here every night and wearing a blanket over my head while I sit and watch, read the uh, computer. I see. So. Let me see this one. And how much did you pay for this? This was $79. $79. And there's no sales tax in Oregon, it seems like, because we bought groceries today, didn't pay any sales tax, and now I bought this and there was no tax. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. But this is not included, though. This no, is like no, this the... is mine. This okay. is mine, yeah. So do you know how to... Put well, it? they said just spread it on the side like this. Just like that? Yeah. Well, you gotta kind of push it. I think like you this. need to make sure that it's. There it goes. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you hold the top like that for me while I push it in? I think you're doing the wrong way. No, oh, that's the right way. Is it the right way? It might be cross threaded though. Let's put it up on its side like that. Now we can see it. Yeah. There it goes. Goes in? Oh, very nice. He said take it all the way in. Uh, and then just snug, not real tight. Okay. Now push it down. Should fit perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And okay. How are you gonna do it? It's got an automatic lighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it on pilot. Okay. And you gotta hold it down, I guess. That's it. It didn't light. That's about hold on. it. Oh. After pilot light, hold for thirty to sixty seconds, then release knob. No need. It's going good. Mm -hmm. Operate heater, slightly depressed knob and turning high. You gotta put it on high first till it turns orange, it says. You don't need to push it, just do it like that. Oh, I see. Okay, put it to high. Oh, no, D. Put it to high. It's not going to high or like that. Until it turns orange. Oh, this is so nice. traveled through the Tillamook State Forest to Tillamook, Oregon, where the famous cheese factory is located.
Hello, Daddy. Feel cold? What? Do you feel cold? Yeah. I'm sorry. By a woman? Uh, I don't know. That one. Oh, yeah. Right here. Like this, smoked oh smoked oysters. Pear cheese push. It's in the yeah. During the factory, we boondocked at the Blue Heron. They had some interesting old farm equipment and trucks there. Yeah. Ford Model T heavy duty trucks like my grandpa used to drive from uh, San Francisco to LA and back hauling produce. Oh, back in the 1930s, early 30s. Yeah. Yep, well, that was a truck driver. He had a, he had a truck like this. Of course, it was in great shape with the window and all that. This was what he was using. It had a big bed on there for the produce. Mm -hmm. In order to start it, you had, you had to turn the crank in front. They didn't have an electric starter. I see. You have to crank it? Yeah, you had to crank it. And this is the truck engine because, as you can see, it's got it had eight cylinders, it looks like, but maybe six. Eight. Are you sure each one of these is an individual cylinder? Yeah, because they had spark plugs. One, two, three. Yeah. This was an eight, eight cylinder. That's our camper. This is my husband. Oh, this was an international. It's going to rain pretty soon. What's it's this? Real. It's really, really big. It's like uh, a tractor. Like Somewhat. Something. Maybe, oh, maybe they drove it down. In the, like, if it's, there's water. Oh, oh no. There's bales of hay. Oh. Maybe the round one. I see. What is it? Famous rock and roll group, the REO Speedwagon. Oh. I want you to photo that. This one? Yeah. It's good. Okay. That's it. Now, you look, I got a four leaf clover. Oh, my goodness. How lucky you are. Oh, yes. Can I save this? Oh, yeah. You got to press it in a book. That's how you do it. Yes. Thank you. Want to eat some? They're big. Whoa, whoa, it's like from the store. Careful with your tooth. Are soap? It's good. Excellent. No, thank you. Whoa. Straight from the vines. Yes. Through the vine. Mm. Bottle of wine. Daddy, those are, oh, that one is not yet really fully ripe. Okay, try it if it's really. Mm. Oh, sour, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Hello, Daddy. I'm sorry. Built by buffalo pits. Beautiful. Yes. We went back to the Tillamook Creamery one more time to really observe the manufacturing process. Thank you.
That's a really big one. Look. Oh, you see him like when he slices it through like that. They open it again. If it goes she out the, yeah, they open it again, and then we do that. Yeah, right there. Those are like the Hello, my guys. <laughs> this is my husband. After that, we headed south along the Oregon coast. Thanks for coming along with us on our journey. Until next time, keep it real. Get, 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 get.